We are approaching the latter portions of the course and object oriented programming or OOP as we say here, also known as classes, is probably the last big component of foundational Python programming we're going to learn about. This will enable us to do a lot more things in Python. So let's talk about it. What is OOP, object-oriented programming, or also known as classes? Classes are templates used to create objects or instances that share characteristics and behaviors. In a few, uh, in a little bit, we will look at what that looks like in Python. First, we're going to talk about it conceptually to make sure that we have this good foundation of, of classes. Classes contain attributes and methods. Essentially, these two things are what make up classes. So attributes are, uh, could be envisioned as characteristics. Um, and methods could be envisioned as behaviors or actions. How do these classes act? What can they do? Whereas attributes describe, describe them. So uh, real world entities uh, are a good metaphor for uh, objects or for, for classes. Um, so let's take a look at, at one, one example here. We could have a person class and that would be the class it's a class of thing um, in the environment we talk about genus species class things like that it's it's a it's a way to uh, define usually similar things although they may they may be not exactly the same, but it, it's a subset of something, right? So we could have this person class saying, I'm going to have people or objects or instances of my person class, but, but they're, all pe they're all people. They're all elements of a person class, but they're all different um, or they can be different. So if we look at it a little bit more in depth, we could look, break this down in just a few examples of many of attributes and methods of what makes a person class. We could say we want to know these characteristics about a person. So we could define those and they would be our, our attributes of our person class. And we could say we want our person to be able to do these things, to have this capability, these methods or behaviors and actions, speak, add hobby, sleep, and work. So this defines our person class. It's our template for, for what we will, what we care about with our, our people objects. So let's expand this a little bit further. Now we have a, a bunch of different instances or objects of the person class. So every one of these people here, they're all different, right? We want to track them individually, but the things that we're going to account for in just this example would be these things. So, th so all these people here, would have these attributes defined and these methods defined, these capabilities. So that's an introduction to classes. We can think of this, this people example, and we're going to build upon this as we, we dive deeper into what makes a Python class.